Roadside Adventures, hosted by Rocky Francis, along with pro staff members Phil Wellen, Will Askew, Brent Green, Jimmy Stork, and Rex Burney. Now let's get started on this week's Broadside Adventure. Products and services provided by Metalist with Silvermax Technology, Oasis Outback, Henrik's Outdoors, Hoglite, Scott Archery, Lupode, your optics authority, The Dry Guy, Interlock Broadheads, Inner Strength, Inner Confidence, Easton Arrows, Bowtech, this ain't your daddy's bow, Spot Hog, Welcome to today's Broadside Adventure. This week I traveled to Zimbabwe, Africa to hunt bull elephant with my bow. Now when I got the call to hunt a bull elephant with my bow, I knew nothing about this, what it entailed. My first stop was at Faust Hunting and Fishing Shop to actually set up some arrows for this hunt. We decided to use an Easton arrow, an ACC, and stack it with aluminum shaft. We added on an interlock broadhead at 150 grains. Now this is going to give me an arrow shaft at about 750 grains. The next step was setting up the bow. We had a normal bow at a 70 pound bow, but all my research said that that would not get the job done. So I called a sponsor of mine, Bowtech. They sent me down some new limbs and I was able to put these limbs at a peak weight of 100 pounds. So we've got the perfect setup now, a Tribute Bowtech bow set at 100 pounds, a 750 grain Easton arrow, with an interlock broadhead on the end of it. This was going to be the perfect setup for my elephant bow. The next step was to tune the bow. So we made a trip down to Hondo, Texas to the Oasis Outback where Bobby helped me set up this bow, tune it in, and we were shooting perfect groups. So I'm now ready to head to Zimbabwe to take an African bull elephant. So let's get started on this week's Broadside Adventure. First morning here in Zimbabwe. We're in Kwai, Zimbabwe, hunting a Camp Slough. Slough? Slough. I'll get it right here in a minute. I'm here with Colbus, my PH. They, they call him Big Colbus. I'm not real sure why, but uh, anyway. <laughs> we're in a, like I said, it's first morning here in Zimbabwe doing a little elephant hunting with my bow. We're going to give it a try. We're waiting on Scout uh, before we go out, and uh, hopefully, we're going to bring you an incredible bull elephant hunt here in Zimbabwe.
phone booth. We're in the, the bush here in Zimbabwe. All the guys are on their cell phones <laughs> trying to get signal. Drive to the highest point or climb the highest tree. They haven't uh, started climbing the trees yet, but uh, I think they're close. Got to check with the, with the different property owners. Make sure we can uh, hunt in their area. So uh, they saw some sign for elephants here in this area and needed to check with this uh, this next property owner, make sure we can go in and hunt. So hopefully we'll be able to reach them here with the technology in Africa. It's, it looks like a, a young elephant. Fairly, fairly small track. But it is our first track, so that's good. We've had elephants in the area that way. Normally when you find a track, you'll find that the back of the track will be round uh -huh. and it comes more pointy and yeah, normally with a toe it actually Scuffs up okay. a little bit of yeah. I saw several direction. Saw several tracks where the, it looks like the sand's kind yeah. of scattered. And that's the direction they're going. Is where that little tunnel just slips up the dust. Now, in my, and in, in my reading, am I right that an elephant's footprint is just like a human handprint? There's not one any of the same. Yeah. The same. The, they've got a, a distinct. Yeah, all uh, those cracks in there, uh -huh. they they differ. Yeah. Yeah. There's one very nice bull trick here that came out. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's actually, well, when we normally measure, we may measure from that end, but normally two of our foot tracks like that, uh -huh. and on mine, normally somewhere there, it's a trophy bull that we yeah. will, it's something that you will look to follow up on if in these areas. And you said you saw that up. one there, yeah, it's actually almost twice the length of my foot, yeah. So it's a good pull, it looks like a good trophy there. Hey, it's still our first morning here in Zimbabwe. We've, uh, we've been tracking different elephants, found several different tracks, found some nice bull tracks. Um, what we found out is, is, which I didn't know, is elephants prefer fresh water and they'll travel for miles and miles for fresh water. This is kind of an elephant playground. We've got a pump over here that's actually pumping this little pond up with fresh water. And it, as you look around, you can see the bushes are torn up, the, the ground is just just tracked down with, with elephant signs. Uh, like I said, it's like an elephant playground. They come in here to get the fresh water early in the morning and they head back out. And then uh, later this afternoon, they say the elephants will come back in water head back in. We border some national forest ground and the elephants prefer to stay in the national forest ground but there's no fresh water over there so this is a perfect place. We we'll continue to check this out throughout the week here um, and uh, hopefully we, uh, we get on a, just a, a great bull here in Zimbabwe.